What's up, everybody? It's Desiree McKinney, and you're watching Stunt Game. Stunt Game. Stunt Game, man. Stunt Game. Stunt Game. Stunt Game. Stunt Game TV. That's what it is, and that's how we do it. You know what I'm saying? What's the deal? This is your boy Skateboard with Snake Game TV, and today we have a Squares daughter. I think she goes by the name of Desiree McKinney. All right, man, and we gonna get into it. A Squares daughter. What is that? What does that mean? There are multiple meanings. I'm a musician, so it's art, and whatever your interpretation of it is, is you know what you perceive it to be, just like the Bible. You read it, you receive it a certain way. So what you receive it as is your interpretation. Okay. So um, how many tracks are on the, on the album? It's 11 songs. Put my heart and soul into it. They're all like three to seven minutes long. I love funk music. Outcast songs are pretty long. So mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. I wanted people to be able to listen to it and escape from whatever is going on around them. Okay. So. Okay. Um, Favorite song on the album? I they're all they're all my favorite. I it might sound cliche, but honestly, I like every song off the album. I put blood, sweat, and tears in every last song that's on there, so I can't pinpoint one song. And honestly, the feedback that I've gotten was people saying they can't stop repeating it over and over again. Nobody said, "Oh, you know, that one song is the only one I like," or yeah, whatever. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's the whole album, so. Or I can't take it out of my car. I can't stop jamming it in the morning when I'm getting up. So, okay. Yeah. But um, what made you want to title it a, a Squares Daughter? I I feel like as an artist, you get labeled all the time. I'm I had singles before this, and it was always you a rapper or are you a singer or are you uh, what are you talking about or just the same stuff over and over. What genre are you? And I don't like being boxed in. I never have. I stopped playing basketball because people were like, you're tall, you're going to be lit. Like, yeah, yeah. I, you know what I'm saying? It's, it's just, I, I don't like being told what to do. I like being free. I'm a hippie. I like the free yeah. writing and writing about what I want to talk about. And it's my passion. So a square's daughter to me is like, being trapped in a box and staying in there and then just almost coming out, pushing out, being burst out and you just, you know what I'm saying? You good after that. So you can, you can say this yourself. is um, your coming out album. Yeah, exactly. An introduction to who you are. That's, yes, but it's whatever, whoever's interpretation, you know what I'm saying? It's <laughs> art, so I like the title because it has multiple meanings and people can look at it just in, Think beyond, you know, square to some people is smoking a tweet. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, <laughs> it yeah. could be, it could be literally any. It could be, you know, a Rubik's cube. It could be anything. So. Okay. So let's 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 get into the in depth. So, how long have you been singing? I've been singing for forever since I was a kid. I've been in my church choir. I started that at three years old at Covenant Glen United Methodist Church in Stafford, Texas. And then okay. they moved over. Okay. They're in the West Park area now, um, over by Westheimer. Okay. And I love my church. My dad is a mortician, so a lot of the times he will be sitting in the back of the car, you hmm. know what I'm saying, with the other... Uh, the other Morticians? Um, no with the other pastors or bishops or just members of the church and they'll be talking about who they smash or, you know what I'm saying, the yeah. wretchedness of it all. And my pastor has always been who he was in the car as he was behind the pulpit. He never took, you know, he never took like the weed or yeah. Yeah. did yeah. anything janky or anything like that. So yeah. it's important, you know, I feel like when you have a leader of the church who, who is doing what they're supposed to be doing. Okay, okay, okay. 
Let me ask you this. Um, does the church conflict with your music? It doesn't. I feel like my next project, though, I'm not going to curse at all. I did say a couple of words, so that's why there is parental advisory on it. But kids have been responding to it as well. And I am opening people's eyes to, I'm bringing people closer to God. I'm bringing people closer to God without forcing it down their throats. And that was the main goal. And I think the anger of being in this box, um, I just kind of let, let that take over sometimes when I was, talking because some of it is freestyle off the top of my head so you know but out of the anger I mean Jesus cursed mm -hmm. <laughs> I just I just want to make sure you know that anybody can listen to it and enjoy it next time okay okay so um who inspired you to sing who inspired me to sing Sade Andre 3000. You ever had Cracker Jacks? <laughs> <laughs> this is a surprise at the Cracker Jacks. This one right here is a surprise at the Cracker Jacks. Thank you. I was just talking about that, man. P Rod, everybody. <laughs> with, with the uh, <laughs> Hugh Hefner kimono situation on. But yeah. This is nighttime, right? Yeah. It's one in the morning. Everybody on me. So, um. I gotta wake y'all up. Well, he kind of did just now. <laughs> yeah, he, he sure did. He woke me up. <laughs> he so, woke me up too. <laughs> um, you're from Houston? Born and raised from Houston, Texas. Oh. I'm from Mo City in Third Ward. Okay, okay. So, um, who are some of the, um, Houston artists that you listen to? Devin the Dude, I give him a shout out on Houston Vents, number five on the album. Hmm. One of my favorite artists. Bun, I done came across him maybe five, six times. You know what I'm saying? He's like one of my favorite artists too. Pimp C, my dad actually helped bury him. Hmm. Um, he didn't put him in the ground, you feel me? But, yeah. you know, he just helped. Yeah. Helped with Care the service. Okay. okay. He helped with the service. Okay. Um, but he didn't kill him, you know what I'm yeah. saying? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. Okay, okay. Yeah. Now, uh, who else? I like, every Houston artist is dope. I mean, we don't sell our souls. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. We'll die before that happens. Yeah. Like, yeah. Yeah. you feel me? Yeah. So, shit. Yeah. yeah, everybody. I mean, I could just name Scarface, Devin, Bun, Slim Thug. Who else? Uh... Ghetto Boys, uh, who else, who else? Nah, I, I, you say you're from Mo City, nah, I, I haven't oh, heard the Mo City. Oh, Trey the True. I haven't heard the Mo City Zero. Dawn. Yeah. I'm, yes, I'm doing what they, you know what I'm saying, I'm doing, well, I kind of got to slow down a little bit because God blessed me. I do, you know, model and act as well, but. Okay, okay. I have been getting really good royalties off of my CDs, but I have been selling my CD. Well, I was selling my CD a lot more, but not as much. Now, I don't have to. But I was selling them on the street, on the corner, you know what I'm saying? And I got that from Ro. Yeah. And that was my, my tagline. It was, hey, you know what I'm saying? It's like female Ro. It's yeah. like rap and sing. Like, it's yeah. dope. You like it. You yeah. know, you love this. But, yeah. So. Okay. So, um, you say you model and act. Yes, music is first and foremost is my first love, but I was doing that as well before. Okay, mm -hmm. okay. And I have done a little bit more over time. Okay, well, what have you um, been in? Uh, well, we just shot Fifth Ward. Um, that is something that was shot out here in Houston. And Greg shot that. He's a really amazing director. He got an award for it the actual movie that he did and so they made it into a TV show. Hmm. So I actually got to play myself and hmm. I did Hire, which is off of my album. Hmm. I met Maya. She's such an angel. She's so nice. Like she gave me a lot of indie advice so I don't have to sign with a major label. Yeah. Um, what did what did she tell you? That's that's my love. It's like yeah. whoa Maya, yes. right? Okay, okay, yes. Okay, yes. Okay, she's okay. so nice, man. She just 
she told me first and foremost to like save, save your money, save, you know what I'm saying? Save your money, save your money, save your money. She like reiterated that. And she also let me know that there are different apps and just different things that I can do to propel myself forward and condition my brain as an artist hmm. so that I don't have to rely on anybody else, so that hmm. I don't have to go to a studio to record or go somewhere else to make beats. And um, she inspired me to just figure everything out, all aspects of music from home so that I don't have to go to anybody, so that I can provide for my family without worrying about everything else. So, um, let me ask you this. Singing, acting, modeling. Music is first. First. What's second? Music. <laughs> What's third? Music. But <laughs> so then how do you have time to do it? You do know, well, else? I just figured as well, like, as I got more and more into music and deeper into the game, I realized that I can be a musician and just have happened to walk in some runway shows or have happened to, you know, been on a cover of a couple of magazines or newspaper articles or, you know, websites, which I have already. So that was one of the goals as a musician. I'm sure for many musicians, even ones that aren't charting the models. And same thing, to play yourself, like yeah. not... You, you get told what to say when you're acting. You get told yeah, what, to, what to wear yeah. when you're modeling. Yeah. But as a musician, you have a little more say-so and you have that respect that's behind all of it. So I can say, oh, no, I don't want to have my titties out. Or no, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Yeah. I don't want to say, you know, I do something strange for a little piece of change. Like, yeah. I don't want to say that. That's not me. Yeah. I actually walked out of an acting class um, in Los Angeles because they wanted me to say something like similar to that and I just was like this is not me like I need to go back home to Houston and just push this music cause. yeah but yeah so you feel flesh music now yeah I dropped the album April of 2017 but I have been working on the album for about three years and I wanted it to be done right and I wanted it to be done well and it is, and I'll have a few shows where I can showcase the album I'm performing at Warehouse Live. Okay, okay. And that'll be soon. It was supposed to happen, but the hurricane came. Yeah. So um, I've been sending my prayers out and, you know, just checking on my family and friends. And God bless anybody that's going through that. I know that's a horrible situation for a lot of people. It's scary. And right now we're working on a song, me and P-Rod, to... For the proceeds to go to whoever is going through that situation, um, any way you know we can help, there are places that you can donate. I heard you're not supposed to donate to Red Cross, but everywhere else is pretty safe. So, a lot of uh, a lot of us have come together, regardless of like the color, of the person, or whatever. So, I'm I'm praying for whoever's in that situation, and whatever we can do to help, we try to. So. Well, here at Stunt Game TV, we have no problems with Red Cross whatsoever. <laughs> we don't. We have no problems with Red Cross. Shout out to the Red Cross. I they can't giving. Speak. They giving the the four hundred now, huh? Stunt, Stunt Game. They probably was just like, oh. Stunt Game CEO cannot uh. deny, confirm <laughs> none of that. I have no problems with the Red Cross. Well, That's all I, I would say. I yeah. I heard. I, I, this is you what know. I heard. So you know, Shoot. all I can say is I have no problems with the Red Cross, <laughs> Stunt Gang, Stunt Gang TV, and all of its people. Oh Lord! We have no problems with the Red but Cross. Let me tell you where else you can donate because the Girl Scouts of America are doing things to help. Hold on, I got a whole little situation right here where I can help. Stunt Game TV has no <laughs> problems with the Red Cross. Oh my God, this guy. It is the 21st. We have no problems with okay, the Red Cross. Okay, so you can volunteer at Lakewood Church, Marshall High School, Windsor Village, Feed in Texas, Salvation Army, Save the Children. Text 51555 for notifications on helping out. Or you can sign up and volunteer at BakerRipley.org, B-A-K-E-R-R-I-P-L-E-Y.org. And just pray for us. If you ain't got no time or money, just pray for us. But, yeah. mm. So um, how did you 
do during the hurricane? Um, we were fine. I prayed, and I really don't. I mean, I wouldn't disclose it if something did happen, but I'm fine. I'm alive. My family's alive. My close friends are alive. So that's most important. And um, we did go to Dallas. We were evacuated to Dallas. And so when I got there, I helped with the Girl Scouts. That's why I mentioned them okay, as, that's a, cool. as a good place to help. And yeah. the little girls were really excited. to. We put care packages together and prayers for everyone. And we helped over 500 people oh, wow. um, that day. So, oh, wow. Yeah. That and day? That day. And then oh, wow. now I'm working on a song to give money back. And now that I'm back home, I was in New York for a little bit just working. And now that I'm back home, I'll be able to do a lot more as well. Yeah, that's a, that's a beautiful thing, man. That's a beautiful thing, man. I know um, JJ Y did his thing down here. Mm, rap um, a lot's helping too. Yeah, rap a lot. Mm-hmm. A lot of people. I'm um, DJ Mr. Rogers, Try the Truth. Hi, C. Um, it, I mean, just the whole city is behind the city. You know, yeah. you can't the spell. The whole city is yeah. behind the city. Yeah. You can't, <laughs> you can't spell Houston. Yeah. You know, without yeah. Us. So, right. you know, we got to take care of ourselves right now. So that's what we're doing. So, mm-hmm. you know, uh, I'm glad that you made it there, made it safely throughout the hurricane. Um, Thank you. Is there anybody that you would like to work with? Oh, I think I answered that then. Who have you worked with? Who, who else have you worked with? Who else have I? I did the whole album myself. I wanted to make sure that I showcased what I could do. So I did the entire album myself. But one of my close friends that I've worked with, um, her name is Amy Miller. And she's an amazing artist. She is from Houston, Texas as well. And she did 106 in Park. Hmm. And she got to the last round. And she's like a fire spitter. Hmm. She's so was that that 106 in Park when Kiati was rapping and all of that too? I don't know. I don't know. I just, I, I know. Like the freestyle she battle? Yeah, she okay. was on there. And okay. she did amazing. She should have won. She, she did amazing. Yeah. And um, we have a song called Taken. It's a pop song. It's doing really well in Europe. Hmm. And we'll be working on the Hurricane song together, most likely. Okay. okay. And, um, yeah, she's just an, an amazing person. Okay. Well, hopefully um, when y'all um, get that collab going on, Snug Gang TV can be that filming behind the scenes, getting this epic um, visual and everything. Is there anybody that um, you want to shout out? Shout out to God, because you'll be looking out for me, man. Thank you. Thank you for making me patient, kind, caring, not a prostitute. Thank you for not helping a prostitute. me keep my legs closed, dear Lord, because it's many, many artists that, you know, just be out there in these streets, and I just, I really appreciate God just making me who I am. And I'm going to just be able to say at the end of the day that I actually worked for everything that I have. That I didn't have to get on my knees. Oh, and that when I actually get married, you know what I'm saying? My husband can say, oh, she didn't get ran through by a whole God, bunch damn, of dudes. Some real you know what I'm saying? Out, so I just really have to thank God. That's, that's first and foremost. And everything else, you know, I have to thank the person who did my nails. She has a YouTube channel. It is Femi Beauty. And she has the Instagram, which is Femi Beauty. My boo who did my outfit. She is me pinup on Instagram, me underscore pinup. The girl who does my makeup most of the time is Natalie Berry. She's doing some overseas work right now. She's amazing as well. And she has a Instagram and a Facebook where you can reach her. And just DM any of them and they'll hook you up on the outfits and makeup, nails, and my mama, my mama, my mama, and P. Rod, and you only gonna be a couple hours. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I've been with him all day today, but I mean, he looked out for this, so I mean, because I was about to go home. Yeah, well, I mean, we was trying to get you out um, um, yesterday, but you know, it was, it was, it was kind of crazy. Yeah, oh, that was before. today. Was it today? No, it was earlier today. It was. It's been. Like nah, we had interviewed um Hill Tactics um what was that yesterday, right? And we were supposed yeah. to get you yesterday. Yes, was, oh. It was oh, supposed man. to get you yesterday. Oh yeah, I was supposed to be here yesterday. Yeah, yeah. yeah. 
Yeah. But yeah, everybody's schedules is crazy. Yeah, it's, it's crazy, and man. Mine is unpredictable, so I'm glad that y'all took the time. You at just with you? Two o'clock in the morning. I was supposed to come yesterday, so I think that's what they're talking about. Yeah, you remember? Because uh, she was there when we interviewed uh, El Taxi. Was she? Was she was there? Huh? No. Was it oh, me? Okay, well, hey, different I might have been smoking, man. I don't know. Man, you I'm make sure you can edit that shit out. What? That been smoking? <laughs> All that shit. You don't quit for all the one girl. That's not definitely not me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I just want to buy that three oh, hours. Okay, well, all right, man. I was smoking. Yeah, okay, I, 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 that's because I keep yeah, my yeah, legs yeah, yeah. closed. But well, you make sure you edit that shit out. All that shit. Hey, but did you keep your legs closed? Did you keep your legs closed? I keep, no, everything. I mean, you can keep the, the so part of me thanking the Lord. I'm not mind. keeping none of that shit. That shit but is blasphemous. Everything. I'm not keeping none of that shit. What? No. How that's, is it blasphemous? I'm thanking nah, him that I'm not the way that most nah, artists are. Nah. Okay, anyway. Yes, well. Any uh, other questions? <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, okay. Uh, <laughs> Them, um, that, 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 Lord, that Lord's prayer, man. That, that Lord, that, that shout out that she gave, that just fucked my, fucked my head. Out, my bullshit, All right, man. I'll do it over. Yeah. Shout out to. I mean, nah, 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 nah. You good, you good. The Heavenly Father, my mama. Shout out to P Rod for the interview. Shout out to. She's a question. She's my Shout out to. Baron Studios for recording my entire album. I've been messing with them for forever. They dope. Shout out to the Blacksicans. Shout out to y'all for interviewing me. Oh, it's all love, man. It's all love, yeah. man. Yeah, 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 yeah. It is, it is. And where can I find you at on, um, on your social media or anything like that? Oh, Lord. I'm on everything. Uh, my name is Desiree McKinney. I usually tell people Desire with an extra E, McKinney. You can just type me in on Facebook. I have a Facebook fan page where you can go ahead and like that. I have a Reverb Nation page where it's ReverbNation.com slash Desiree McKinney. I'm on iTunes, Spotify, Amazon, Tidal, SoundCloud, YouTube. I have music videos. I'm dropping another one in Probably this week, um, we'll do a video for every song off the album. Oh, really? Yes, indeed. Okay, okay, okay. And okay. there's already three on there, and then another video I had before I dropped the album that's okay, on there as okay, well. It's okay. called Nina Brown. Nina Brown. Yes. Mm -hmm. And, yeah, just, what else? Yeah, I'm on everything. E-music, Pandora, everything. Okay. Yeah. All right, man, this is Gay Boy for Stink Gang TV. Oh, hold up. And you can check me out on Instagram, Desiree McKinney Official. That's Desiree Desire with an extra E, McKinney Official. And you can check me out on Twitter, at Desiree McKinney. And I'm done now. <laughs> All right, man. You know... You said that you was weird, and I'm I, I, so weird. You live enough to it, man. But you, you're fun. You can sing. Thanks, you're beautiful. Man. You're talented. Thank it's you. been a pleasure, man. Skateboards, Think Game TV. We out of here. Peace.